Whales come in all shapes, sizes, colors, and species. Some, like the dwarf sperm whale, measure just 2.2 meters long, whereas others, like the blue whale, can measure up to 30 meters long. Despite their size, many of the larger species are not considered predatory, and are often completely harmless to humans. From the 80-ton fin whale to the highly populated minke, here are 15 whales you won't believe actually exist. Number 15. Fin Whales the fin whale, also known as finback whale, is the second largest animal to have ever inhabited the Earth, second only to its close relative, the blue whale. It reaches lengths of at least 26 meters and can weigh up to 80 ton. In fact, if it weren't for their aquatic lifestyles, they would be crushed by their own weight. The buoyancy provided by the seawater they live in makes it possible for these enormous whales to survive. Although they are incredibly large, fin whales are not predatory and feed on tiny krill or small schooling fish. They are completely harmless to people, other than through accidental collisions. American naturalist Roy Chapman Andrews called it the Greyhound of the Sea. He likened its appearance to that of a racing yacht and said its speed could surpass that of the fastest ocean steamship. Fin whales mainly live in temperate and cool waters. However, they are known to populate every ocean except the parts of the Arctic that remain covered in ice. Like all whales, they give birth to live calves, with the fin whale calf measuring anywhere up to 6.5 meters long. Because of their size, they have very few predators. However, killer whales have been known to attack, kill, and eat juvenile fin whales. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Minke Whale Minke whales are the smallest and most streamlined of the great whales or rorquals. They form part of the largest group of baleen whales. All have relatively small heads and broad, filter-feeding systems inside their mouths that are called baleen. The Great Barrier Reef is the only dive destination in the world Members include the blue whale, humpback whale, fin whale, say whale, and the minke. The minke is the most abundant of the five, with a stable population status across the globe, especially in comparison to other species of large whales. Numbers in the western North Pacific and the northeastern North Atlantic have, however, been reduced because of commercial whaling practices. In other waters, overexploitation of other larger whale species has lessened the competition for food resources and allowed minke whales to prosper. The minke prefers tropical, temperate, and polar regions. They are found in all ocean basins and, although not known for their acrobatic or curious behavior, are still popular targets for whale watchers around the world. A relatively small, dark, and sleek whale, they can measure up to 35 feet and weigh almost 20,000 pounds. Most have a varied diet, feeding on a variety of small schooling fish including anchovies, mackerel, herring, cape line, and cod. Other species, particularly those that call the Antarctic home, rely almost exclusively on krill to feed their large stomach. Number 13. Brutus Whale Brutus whales spend their entire lives in the waters of the Pacific, Indian, and Atlantic Oceans. These massive mammals have long and slender bodies, but they weigh over 44 tons. They're not much for social gatherings and like to spend their days hanging out within 50 feet of the water's surface. They're sometimes seen in pairs and may gather in larger groups to feed. The Brutus whale is smoky blue-gray in color and often covered in scars from ocean parasites and cookie-cutter sharks. 
They have a sickle-shaped dorsal fin and three parallel ridges on the top of their head. Although their average speed is only a few miles per hour, these powerful whales can reach speeds of up to 15 miles per hour if they need to. Given their sheer size, they're also surprisingly nimble and can rapidly change direction both above and below the water. They usually eat very small prey, including plankton, krill, and tiny crustaceans, but will occasionally branch out and feast on bigger species like crabs, shrimp, and a variety of small schooling fish. Number 12. Gray Whale one of the animal kingdom's great migrators, the gray whale travels in groups, sometimes making 12,430 mile round trips from the cool waters of Alaska in the summer to the warmer Mexican coast in the winter. This is one of the longest annual migrations of any mammal. Once in Mexican waters, the gray whales breed in the southern shallows and enjoy the balmier climate. Other gray whales are known to live in the seas near Korea. Like all whales, these giants of the deep surface to breathe, with migrating groups often spotted doing just that on the west coast of North America. They are known for their curious nature and are particularly inquisitive around boats. This is great for whale watching ecotourism, but can be dangerous to the whales themselves as they face the threat of vessel strikes and disturbances to their annual migration route. The gray whale was once in serious danger of extinction due to extensive hunting. Today, they are protected by international law and their numbers are on the increase. These large mammals can measure as much as 49 feet long and weigh approximately 90,000 pounds. As their name suggests, they are mainly gray. Instead of a dorsal fin, they have a hump and a series of 6 to 12 small bumps between the hump and the tail flukes. Gray whales are predominantly bottom feeders, sucking sediment and food from the sea floor. Number 11. Say Whale the say whale is the third largest whale species after blue whales and fin whales. They are also one of the most poorly understood. There isn't a lot known about their current distribution, migration patterns, and behavior, but they were once heavily hunted in the modern whaling era. They are believed to prefer deep offshore waters in temperate and subpolar regions. They appear to favor temperatures between 8 and 18 degrees Celsius, but have highly unpredictable seasonal movements. They can be present in an area one year and nowhere to be seen the next. This also makes them difficult to observe. Occasionally, whale watchers are able to enjoy a rare glimpse if the gray whale's seasonal habitat overlaps with that of the more predictable humpback, gray, or minke whale. Although say whales' seasonal movements are less predictable, they are known to give birth midwinter in the lower latitude or warmer areas. Gestation is about 10 to 12 months, and calves are weaned before 9 months of age after they have migrated with their mothers. They are also opportunistic feeders, skimming the surface with their mouths open, consuming large quantities of plankton. Number 10. Humpback Whale Humpback whales are enormous creatures, measuring almost 63 feet long and weighing 40 tons, or about the size of your average school bus. Their flippers are classed as the largest appendage in the world, measuring a whopping 16 feet long. They also have massive tails that can grow up to 18 feet. Humpbacks are well known for their haunting and melodic songs and are found in every ocean in the world. Although large, they showcase some amazing acrobatic abilities for those lucky enough to witness them. With a name like humpback, you would think these whales would have a hump on their backs. Strangely, that's not the case. The name actually describes an action, rather than a feature of the whale. Before making a deep dive into the ocean, they arch their back, effectively forming a hunch. They are found near coastlines and are known to annually migrate from their summer feeding grounds near the poles to warmer winter breeding waters closer to the equator. Females nurse their calves for almost a year and are known to have a special bond with their young. They swim close together, often touching one another's flippers. Like other baleen whales, they primarily feed on krill, plankton, and small fish. Number 9. 
bowhead whale. The bowhead whale was an early target for commercial whalers in the mid-1700s, with numbers severely reduced. The species became protected when a moratorium was passed in 1966. Bowhead oil and baleen was considered valuable, and their slow swimming speeds made them an easy target. Today, there are many more threats, including loss of food sources, climate change, vessel strikes, and pollution. The bowhead resides almost exclusively in Arctic and subarctic waters, and are one of very few whale species to do so. The species is named after its massive triangular skull which is a helpful adaptation for their life in icy water. They use it to break through the Arctic ice to breathe. A layer of insulating blubber is also helpful and can measure up to 1.6 feet thick. Bowheads have the largest mouth of any animal on the planet. It's so huge that it represents almost one third of the length of the body, which can measure up to 58 feet long. These slow-swimming whales are not social animals, preferring to travel alone or in small pods. If fleeing from danger, they can travel at speeds of up to 10 kilometers per hour, and when feeding, they swim slightly faster. Number 8. Right Whale Listed as endangered since 1970, the North Atlantic and North Pacific right whales were sadly considered the right whale to hunt by whalers, hence the name. The whale rewarded whalers with high quantities of oil and baleen and was easy to catch and process. They were known for their docile nature, swam slowly, floated when dead, and were often found close to shore. Because they were so easy to catch and kill, they were hunted to near extinction, with only about 400 now remaining. Both the North Atlantic and the North Pacific whales have never recovered from the centuries of whaling, but the third species, the southern right whale has been more fortunate. These whales live in the southern hemisphere and most of their population is now on the increase. They are often the focus of many whale watching ventures and can be viewed from either the shore or from a boat. All three species migrate to feed or give birth. In the northern hemisphere, they stay close to peninsulas, bays, and continental shelves. These offer greater shelter as well as an abundance of food sources. Although their feeding habits differ slightly, all species of right whale tend to dine on small crustaceans, krill, sea snails, and slugs. Number 7. Sperm Whale the largest of the toothed whales, the sperm whale has a distinctive square head and narrow lower jaw. It is thick set, has small paddle-like flippers, and males can reach lengths of up to 19 meters when fully grown. The female of the species is significantly smaller, which is unusual for a whale. The sperm whale is a deep diver, commonly reaching depths of about 350 meters below the surface. They can dive for up to an hour at a time and have a cruising speed of 7.4 kilometers an hour when swimming. If they're in a hurry, sperm whales are capable of reaching speeds of at least 37 kilometers an hour. Most swim in pods of between 15 and 20, and all prefer to inhabit temperate and tropical waters throughout the world. Sperm whales may live for over 70 years, reaching physical maturity between 25 and 45 years. They have the largest brain on Earth, measuring five times heavier than a human's, and primarily feed on mollusks, including octopus, squid, and cuttlefish. Number 6. Blue Whale These giants of the deep are the largest animal known to have ever existed on Earth, weighing over 150 ton. This fact is hardly surprising given their tongue alone weighs as much as an elephant. The blue whale is not only heavy, it is extremely long, reaching a maximum confirmed length of 29.9 meters. 
Despite being so large, this massive ocean dweller mainly feeds on very small marine life, including krill, a shrimp-like animal. It's not surprising then that they need 36,000 kilograms of it to suppress their large appetite. Deep divers, the blue whale will descend to approximately 500 meters below the surface to catch their food. Given their size, they have few predators, but attacks by sharks and killer whales have been recorded over the years. They can also be injured or killed from collisions with large ships. Graceful swimmers, these giant mammals travel at a relatively sedate 8 kilometers per hour, but can put their flipper down when required and rev things up a notch to a speed of over 30 kilometers per hour. The blue whale is very strong and powerful. However, it does not have the strength to break free from fishing gear and has often perished after becoming entangled in discarded nets. Number 5. Killer Whale Killer whales, also known as orcas, are a toothed whale that belongs to the oceanic dolphin family. An iconic species, they have long been revered by various aboriginal cultures and are frequently the lead performer in live shows at marine parks. <laughs> Over the years, many have also starred in hit movies, like Free Willy and Blackfish. Technically the largest dolphin of its species, the killer whale claims the whale name because of its size. They are very easy to distinguish and can be found in every ocean basin and several semi-enclosed bodies of water like the Arabian Gulf. Classified as an apex predator, the killer whale is at the top of the ocean's food chain, as no animal preys on them. Highly social, they are very vocal and considered the most stable of any animal species. They are also expert hunters and have excellent eyesight and hearing. They hunt in groups, feeding off fish, squid, octopus, other mammals, sea birds, and sea turtles. Some populations are considered threatened or endangered due to prey depletion, and the southern resident killer whales, which swim in British Columbia and Washington state waters, were placed on the endangered species list in the U.S. in 2005. Killer whales are not considered dangerous to humans, and there have been no documented cases of fatal attacks. Any altercation that results in injury to human life is considered purely accidental. Number 4. Whale Shark the whale shark is not only the largest fish in the world, it's also the longest. Although it has the name whale, it is not a whale. It is a shark. But it does have a lot in common with a whale, including its size. Most whales are massive, and so too is the whale shark. They also feed more like whales than a typical shark, dining on shrimp, fish eggs, krill, coral span, and small fish. Although they have huge mouths that can reach up to 1.4 meters across, they have tiny teeth and a narrow throat. With 300 rows of tiny teeth, you'd think they'd be at least a little helpful at feeding time, but alas, because they're pointed backwards, they're next to useless. Combine that with their narrow throat and these giant fish don't have any option but to eat small prey. The whale shark dwarfs the better known great white by a country mile. Whale sharks can grow up to 40 feet, whereas the great white measures at just 20 feet at best. They are also not predatory, unlike the great white. I guess there's not much point unless you're killing for the fun of it. I mean, it's not like they can eat anything large, is it? Number 3. Bottlenose Whale This species of whale could easily be mistaken for a dolphin. The bottlenose whale has a bulbous forehead that drops sharply to the base of the beak and looks very much like that of the dolphin equivalent. 
When it comes to size, however, the pair couldn't be any more different. Whereas the bottlenose dolphin measures just 13 feet long and weighs approximately 1,300 pounds, the whale version can reach up to 37 feet in length and weigh up to 16,500 pounds. The whale inhabits deep offshore waters and is a bit of a bottom dweller when it comes to mealtimes. They are capable of long, deep dives where they spend time searching for squid, fish, and other bottom-dwelling animals. Biologists have recorded that the bottlenose whale is capable of diving to 4,900 feet below the surface and can remain submerged for nearly two hours. That's a heck of a long time to hold your breath. The northern bottlenose is the largest member of the beaked whale family, and also one of the more social. They will often approach and appear curious about vessels, which can be dangerous. Not only can they become easy targets for whale hunters, they may be seriously injured or killed if hit by a boat. Number 2. Beaked Whale there are 23 species of this medium-sized toothed whale. They are all distinguished from other whales by their extended snout. In addition to their obvious snout, the beaked whale has two throat grooves that meet under the chin. Not much is known about this family of whales, with one species only discovered in the mid-1990s and two others only studied through their skeletal remains. The bodies of several undescribed species occasionally drift ashore where experts attempt to piece together any information they can find. These whales have small, rounded flippers, and a dorsal fin is located towards the end of the body. Due to the number of species that are characterized as beaked whales, their measurements vary significantly, with the dwarf or pygmy measuring approximately 12.1 feet and the giant bottlenose reaching a whopping 42.7 feet. They are definitely a species of huge contrasts, with the smallest weighing around 1,000 kilograms and the largest over 14,000. The beaked whale is primarily gray or black with white, and all have battle scars from fighting with each other or being bitten by predators. Males are more heavily scarred than females for obvious reasons, but mainly due to fights over their lady friends. Number 1. Beluga Whale the beluga whale, or white whale as it is sometimes known, is the only aquatic mammal of this color. It's also one of the most familiar and easily distinguishable for the same reason. When they are born, beluga whales are either gray or brown. They only start fading to white as they reach sexual maturity around 5 years of age. A relatively small whale with a stocky body, rounded forehead, and no dorsal fin, the beluga ranges in size from 13 to 20 feet and weighs approximately 1,600 kilograms. They generally live with others in small groups of 10 animals on average and are very vocal communicators. A series of clicks, whistles, and clangs are used as part of their unique language, and they are also able to mimic a variety of other sounds. Although they are slow swimmers, they are good divers and can drop to 2,300 feet below the surface to forage for food. They are opportunistic feeders and their menu is dependent on their locations and the season. Most tend to dine on small fish including sole, flounder, herring, sculpin, and certain types of salmon. Whales are found in every ocean on Earth and they are also the biggest creatures we have. These animals are impressive. They create a lot of interest, with many researchers fascinated by their feeding habits and the waters they choose to call home. Social creatures, they are often found in pods. This ensures they have company, but also that they are safe from predators like sharks. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!